Yeah, they have a ramp there. Actor George Alavisos is taking on a different kind of role. The 21-year-old is working with the Canadian Actors Union, ACTRA, to do audits at local casting facilities. That's pretty wide. It's easy to get in. Examining physical barriers actors with disabilities encounter while trying to book a job. The stall is quite small. For a lot of people, it's, it might be quite hard. Often, the solutions are simple, like adding a ramp as an alternate for stairs or the height of a sign-in table. But if I'm having trouble getting into the audition space, it kind of c catches me off guard kind of thing. And so it may not cause me to do my best work, which means I won't book the job. Alavisos has already booked the lead in commercials and appeared in Star Trek Discovery. And I feel like the more representation we see, the more willing people are to go out and actually work on the craft and really, you know, go out there and, and fight for roles. It's representation in shows like Special that are motivating actors like George. I have cerebral palsy. What's that? It's a disability in the brain manifested through muscular and coordination. The debut season of the Netflix short comedy earned four Emmy nominations including Best Actor for Ryan O'Connell, the creator and star of the show. I always believed in the show, obviously, and I thought it could kind of have an impact and resonate beyond just like queer disabled communities, but having that validated is sort of incredible. Special is based on O'Connell's real life story of hiding his cerebral palsy while trying to make it as a writer. I was hit by a car. Everybody, come hug Ryan. He was hit by a car and now he's a weird sad lip forever. O'Connell started shopping his script four years ago, but says networks at the time were hesitant to pick up a series about a gay man with a disability, until Netflix said yes. It was a hard sell, but I think that, um, that times have changed. People are realizing that stories like this need to be told. But how those stories are told can also be an issue, something actor and advocate Tatiana Lee is working to change in Hollywood. You hear these terms, they overcame their disability. And 95% of the time, they let people who don't have a disability portray them. Still, Lee says the industry is waking up, with more and more actors with disabilities landing auditions and lead roles. The conversation is happening. We are now included in that conversation. I think we just have to keep fighting, keep pushing, and keep educating. In all our rooms, we built a ramp. And it's a fight these actors and creators are willing to take on. Tashana Reed, CBC News, Toronto.